Hi, it's Feltus Angel and I'm back with another vlog Tuesday. Last week I was really, really sick, so I skipped a video, I'm sorry guys. But uh, this week I'm back and feeling a lot better, very happy as well. And I wanted to share some of the tips or some of the reasons why I'm happy um, with you guys. Nothing happened, nothing incredible happened. Um, I'm just in general in a very happy state in my life. Um, and I kind of wanted to share some tips um, to anybody who's out there who's single and may need a little bit of uh, help in how to be happily single. <laughs> how to be happily single. It's a very strange, strange concept because um, I don't know about you, but the term happily single seems like a, a weird thing, like a, a Jedi mind trick. I don't think people actually believe single people could be happy. And the reason why I say that is because I don't know if you're single or you've been single for a long time. You know, some people might ask you like, are you dating right now? Who are you seeing? What's going on with you in the dating department? And the truth is that if you felt like there was somebody special in your life, you would have already told your friends and your family about them. I'll give you some tips that I use. I have some notes here, so I'm gonna look at my notes. is that you have to really give yourself enough time to come to peace or come to a peaceful place with where you are. Like, don't begrudge it. Don't um, look at it as a, a bad thing or look at it as like you've been abandoned or that you've been rejected or um, you, you're not capable of being loved. Just look at it as a, in a place where this is where I need to be right now. So that's the first thing I would definitely recommend uh, because having that mindset really allows you to, to then move forward. With when you expect other people to make you happy, that's when you'll always become um, victim to disappointment. We're all human. We're all human and we're all going to disappoint other people. I know I've disappointed lots of people in my day and I've been disappointed by other people. Actual happiness comes from within. And when I say that is that some people like to go shopping and they like to go shopping because um, then they feel like they're in the group with their friends if they have the latest you know, purse or shirt or the, they're doing the latest and they feel like they're part of something bigger when they're doing that. And it sounds really weird to kind of break it down like that, but you have to start breaking down your happiness, not just to the things that you do or the things that you want, but why you want it, how it makes you feel inside. And, and that's exactly where the happiness comes from because you probably already have it, but you don't you can't see it. The next thing I want to let you know is that people think that being happy means that you're satisfied and that is not the same thing. You can be happy going to the store, right, but you won't be satisfied until you come back home. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's the satisfaction is the end product. The part where where you're you're actually going to spend more time in your life is getting to the end product, and you can spend that time being happy instead of sad. And it, uh, the other concept that kind of comes right after that is that happiness is something that you can actually choose. And let's just get this right straight. I mean, you know, just being happily single is definitely a first world problem. It's just, it's fine. Um, don't worry about it. Just, just go with it. <laughs> Another way to be happy and single is to what a lot of a lot of gurus say: date yourself. And it's so true. Someone once said that only boring people are bored. Okay. So 
when you're by yourself and you're alone, imagine this is how other people are going to have to um, feel when they're with you. So if you can't be entertaining with yourself, if you can't keep yourself going just by being with yourself, how can other people actually spend time with you? Then um, the next thing I would say, gratitude is so awesome because gratitude, um, it, it sounds like something stupid. It really does. Like for a lot of people who are not used to doing a practice of gratitude, it's like, oh yeah, gratitude. I have made it like a, a routine of, of being grateful for stuff that now, even when I have terrible days, I find myself, oh gosh, I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for this. And it kind of like sparks something that just makes me just realize, wow, I am grateful for those things. Um, another thing too, when you start looking at your, your things that you're grateful for, um, you realize that you're not doing so bad by yourself, right? Just start looking for those good things. The, the next thing is really to try to get your stuff together. You know, that's something to look forward to and work towards. So that way you yourself can take care of yourself. You can be self-sufficient, independent, and you don't have to depend on other people um, to, you know, to help you out. Be your own independent force. The other thing is just self-improvement. Just always look to, to try to improve yourself, your ideas. Remove limitations. It's just an ongoing process. As long as you live, you're going to always need to do that. But in doing that, you're empowering yourself to have better conversations and more effective ones. That's enough to make you feel happy. <laughs> Definitely the next thing is have a plan for your future. You really should have a plan for your future because um, I, I will tell you for a long time I did not have a plan for my future uh, because I just felt like I was going to wing it and eventually I was going to be okay. And, and though it was true, like a lot of people who met me, I'm pretty certain that one of the reasons why they did not stay in contact with me was because they did not think I was going to go anywhere. And when you don't have a plan for your future, or it looks like you don't have a plan for your future, people um, feel like, they feel like you're disposable. And I, I don't know if, you know, they can't really invest a lot of time and energy um, to spend with you because, you know, they're, they're going somewhere. They have a plan, but you don't. And so you'll be sort of like a parasite holding on to them. And it was very, it was hurting my self-esteem big time. So if you really want to be happy alone, you might want to just consider having a plan for your future. It's a good impression on other people and it gives you great self-esteem. The next thing I'd like to say is be patient. Be you want to be patient because it removes the uh, the pressure from meeting someone. Like, oh, I want to meet somebody special. Uh, but if you're, you're patient and you're like, yeah, you know, in its own time, there's going to be a, a relief. And you have to really believe it, though. You can't just say that it's, you can't just say that, oh, I've got to be patient and everything in its own time. You really have to believe it. And people need to be able to see that too in you. Because if you're always anxious about a boyfriend and, or a girlfriend, I got to be with someone, I have to be with someone, I'm going to die alone, I'm, I'm never going to have anyone. You're only self-prophesizing. you know, prophesizing. You have to remain absolutely calm and cool. Um, if not for the rest of the world to see, definitely for your own self. Because every time you say these things to yourself, it's going to be very hard for you to undo that limitation. Building relationships, meeting 
you know, good quality people really takes time. And it can happen at any time. But if you're in the wrong mindset, you've already ran them away. There's, there's something very um, easy about knowing like, hey, you know, that's going to happen it's in its own time. I have to be patient. And even if it doesn't happen, I think I'll be okay. In fact, I know I'll be awesome. And that is pretty much all that I have. That's all the tips that I have for being happily single. I hope it helps. And I know that there are a lot of videos out there about this topic, about how to be happily single. And, um, but I feel like I had a few good ones that you've probably never heard before. If you're single out there, you know, good luck with everything. And I'm sure you'll be able to do just fine. And if you know someone who is single and they um, could use a little pep talk, definitely please share this video with them. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.